this is a power bi demo session please do not write anything guys simply listen to it and we are in the era of artificial intelligence you listen i will explain everything graphically one second i'm telling you offline online people this is not an academic class you are learning a high professional course so everything graphically available i'll explain graphically i don't want to waste my time and your time but whatever the content i'm giving in the next one hour a very valuable and rich content though they are basics but very valuable and rich content and non it people i use technical words since you are entering into it you must learn through it and it people do not feel panic as it is a demo session today and i am not taking anything related to practical but tomorrow i will take practical so i request everyone attend today and tomorrow both the demos and understand from today practice from tomorrow and then continue from day after tomorrow and my recommendation don't consider like a demo this one read something meaningful information you are going to get in the next one hour something meaningful and a different information so today and tomorrow demo classes are regular classes from wednesday at 6 pm my objective the training objective detailed subject to work on any kind of project in the real time and you must have patience to attend all the sessions and entry oriented also suitable pl 300 is a certification exam in case you are interested to write 70 to 80 percent knowledge i am covering in the certification 70 to 80 percent knowledge and first demo is today and 20 minutes i will cover explain about what we provide what i am going to cover next two months and in the next uh, after 20 minutes i will cover data to microsoft fabric a theoretical part complete 40 minutes so sharply 710 i will close the session 710 pm i will close then after i will address your questions q and a in the middle also related to subject or related to the content you can ask your question in the middle also take mic a type in the chat room but preferably take mic and who all just join kindly provide your email address and mobile number so the demo video demo document you will find and you can read at home right so first 20 minutes i'm starting now so power bi demo so my name is vinay and this is my contact number and i'm working be a lead consultant the training duration 50 to 60 hours daily 1 hour is the class monday to friday classes and saturday monthly two saturdays we have sessions monthly two saturdays you are having classes sir does power bi require 50 hours 60 hours training my friend told me 15 hours is sufficient yeah on the fly very few topics you want to learn 15 hours sufficient but you want to learn in depth in depth of power bi you want to make yourself available in multiple projects this methodology is required it's really tough to compete with a candidate of part 60 hours knowledge a 15 hours knowledge person and every one hour i'll cover valuable subject my one hour equal to 
my one hour equal to for you two to three hours practice. Two to three hours, you know, to practice. And if I take two hours per day, then how much you know to practice? Four to eight, six hours, you know, to practice minimum. That's the major reason why I'm taking only one hour per day. And daily live class videos will provide because, because a couple of people may not understand immediately and they need subject for a while. So 1.5 years of ex, um, access provided for the videos. And without real time, not exactly real time, near real time projects, you will not get good understanding about the subject. So I cover two near real time projects and multiple case studies. And you will get solid theory and practical material. So these are the highlights from the institution. Systematically, you will receive the videos, projects, content, everything. You can ask me, so do I require any knowledge before starting Power BI? No, any graduate can start. Any graduate. BA, BCom. No qualification constant nowadays. If you have Excel knowledge, or SQL knowledge, it is advantage. Advantage, but not compulsory. And what type of component? GUI stands for graphical user interface or coding. Power BI is a graphical user interface component with low code. If you're really looking for low code applications with more graphical user interface, yes, Power BI. That does not mean it's a normal lightweight application, a very strong application. It's a leader in the BI. Today, I will show you all these statistics. Don't worry. Sir, what about your class? Today, a theoretical demo is fine. But what about your regular class? Basics to advanced. In case you want to complete my course in fast track way or customized way, kindly call me. I will tell you how to finish. If you're looking for fast track or customized way, I will tell you what is the way available. Within 30 hours, you want to complete. Within 20 hours, you want to complete. How to complete, I will tell you. Call me. But this class will run for next two months. And the next two months, I'm going to cover two types of sections, one and two. And this is related to environment, your project environment. And you guys entering into data warehousing environment. So data warehousing fundamental required. Data modeling fundamental required. And agile methodology, you need to have some knowledge. GitHub versioning, some knowledge is required. This all I'm going to cover theoretically and practically. And without near real-time projects, your course will not end and you cannot work happily in the company. So compulsory, I will take two near real-time projects, multiple case studies. So my course usually starts with case studies only first. My pattern is completely different from others. First case studies we discuss, and then we go to subject to in depth. And database SQL. You may work with databases in the real time. And you need knowledge of SQL to work on the databases. SQL is a language, coding language. Database query coding language. And I will provide three to four hours. And this is with respect to Power BI. Power BI, some important concepts, not all. But my recommendation learn a whole course.
there are nine topics which are very important for interview and all. I will tell you those you need to prepare. Now, MSBA tabular cubes. There are many companies are asking tabular cubes nowadays. So what is tabular cube? How do you work on it? I will cover for two hours. Job trials. So resume preparation, FAQs, mock interviews. These are all required. I will cover. And coming to Power BI subject level, subject level, cloud components, Power BI desktop, Power BI service, on-premises components, Power BI report server desktop, Power BI report server, and a page related report builder. And many people are not aware of this and who are going through and following through YouTube and many other media, they never come across this. But Power BI having on-premises components and these are also important. Nowadays, many companies are asking page-related reporting concepts. Many companies are asking, not one or two, many. And Power Apps and Power Automate understanding compulsory, four hours I'm giving. So this is the extensive subject I'm going to provide in the next two months. Sir, is it required in case you want to have a perfect fit in the market, especially Power BI projects and relevant environment projects? Yes, this is compulsory. Anything you want to ask anyone, online people, offline people, this batch having offline people as well. I've been discussed at them. Dean Parangadagandi. Will you cover SFIS or sorry, SSRS also in this? Pardon? Will you cover SSRS also in this part of no, uh, Power no, BI? No, no, no. I'm, I'm covering Power BI in depth. SSRS again takes 15 to 20 hours time. If you want to really learn SSRS strong, then it will take 15 to 20 hours. We have a strong trainers in our institute. You can join for it. Very good trainer for MSBA in our institute. We are the market leader for MSBA yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, SSRS is linked uh, with uh, Power BI, no? No, no way. Both are independent. Yeah. No, SSRS is part the of... Power BI is a cloud version of SSRS. Absolutely wrong. I'm going to cover that part today. Have patience for a while. Sir. Sir, be a desktop on a Do you have knowledge on oh. Tableau? Then first of all, you need to know, right? If you know one phone, one phone and features and ask what are the difference, then I can compare it. Sir, you power be a desktop low, subject and... Uh, but I will give you that content, don't worry. Uh, yes. Power BI desktop lo? Uh, power query, power pivot, power view, power map. Okay. And Power BI report service, uh, server desktop lo would same subjects. Yeah, only, but there are differences. Hmm. There are some differences. While working in the classes, I will tell you. Don't worry. Focus. Thank you. So in case the same components available, then Microsoft definitely they will not release a new component like this. Do you think Microsoft is a normal company? They will give you the same features, another component? No, right? right. The Next completion one. of this course, mm. I mean, it will be like, can we keep around four to five years on Power BI? Yes, that's what I'm going Some to. other technology. That's what, sir, I'm going to explain now. Look into the screen. So instruction side, we provide a good theory and practical material. Daily live class video you receive. Resume preparation classes will conduct. Training is fully practical on the training. And you will be having very good interaction with me during the classes. And one WhatsApp group also created for our technical questions, concerns, everything. FAQ is also discussed. 
I'm a very friendly trainer and whatever you want to ask, you can ask during the classes. I will show you some something additional. If anybody expecting complete practical in this one hour, I'm not providing it. So what all we are providing in the next two months, how do we approach with the students and data to fabric, the hierarchy evolution I'm covering today, tomorrow practical part. So both are very important. I, I plan the content in a systematic way. Because the next two months we are going to travel with me. Uh, so these are the batches currently I'm handling. 7 a.m. morning, 7 a.m. is my first batch, 7 to 8 a.m. Later, 8 to 9 a.m., 9 to 10 a.m. And 5 to 6 p.m., 6 to 7 p.m. And recently started 7 to 8 p.m. This batch was not available. So these are batch, six batches I'm having. Current batch is this. And the previous batch you want to see, just completed batch. August started and it completed one week ago. So for 63 sessions, I conducted for them. You can see tabular cube session, complex tasks for interviews, Azure sessions, starting from first demo. And their first demo happened on somewhere August 2nd, 2nd August 1st demo, 3rd August demo overview one by one. And if you look at this, for these people, I covered first case studies only. So that candidate will get good knowledge, real time process, agile process, technical design, document creation. So first case studies, let us subject to learning subject. And on and off, I will take projects. See, I covered one project. I covered another project. One more. So this is a resume preparation, interview guidance and steps. Power automate session like this. I take the subject. So 6 p.m. batch, all files. This is a checklist, what he is supposed to learn. All materials here. Next, coming to WhatsApp for every batch after the video send. Take any batch. 5 p.m. batch recently started. Offline also available, online available for 5 p.m. both. So once the video sent, you will get a message. Today video plays, kindly practice it. I shared last night. So YouTube, so YouTube playlist. playlist. Yeah, what how many days it happened 5 p.m. batch? Pardon? Pardon? How many days it happened 5 p.m. batch? It's it's one month old. One batch. month old batch. It's one month old. Okay. So this is a way. So, this is... so uh, it's like a 50 to 60 hours will be completed in one month, I mean, including weekends, right? Not one that month. You said. Two months, the course oh. duration. Right. No, you can ask me, sir, anybody from your institution selected in the market. So there are Power many BI people. A, it's not coding, no Power BI? No, low code, sir. It's low coding. No. Will you cover any SQL server basics here? Yes, I told you, sir, already. But once again, I'll come back no. to that. Three to four hours I will cover. I already explained, but once again, I'll come back. Okay.
so this person and these people already joined power bi in our institute and they got jobs as well akshay yeah, you are writing something on my screen so this person already got job and he plan to attend power apps in our institute he, he asked us the link can we provide it see sir super sir power apps we do offer power apps power automate also consider sir yeah sure we will discuss this is the response i given so i will never forget our institute sir it gave me proper road map to settle in my career he already got job in power bi working and now he decided to join power apps in our institute so always i will have gratitude towards you sir so friday one two days ago many people not want to sir uh, this person nani got job he selected recently in emphasis sir emphasis lo job ochindi and he is to suit the institution and tried for the job no they tried their own yeah they tried their own and this person ankit 6 pm hello vinay sir i got the job in a consulting firm and see i got job in the consulting firm but still i am not confident recently mentioned there are many people guys who got job recently in the last one to one market is little down but still people got jobs i usually write like this got job got job got job you then form get in touch with them even companies also approach us on and off this this organization people also 16th october 19th and hope your students are being called for the interviews one guy already selected and clear two rounds in total four people selected for this organization so it was a great response from you and the students hope to see few more joinings it's so a due to our reputation we get on and off some opportunities right this is official now with the knowledge you can try less than 5 years in the market so power bi in opportunity less than 5 years you can try in the current market so more and more 90% opportunities power bi plus dax plus sql it's a language inside power bi it's a language along with sql 90% opportunities 10% remaining nowadays i'm talking about nowadays so you can try as a support resource after this course you can try as an admin resource after this course and msba plus power bi tableau power bi azure power bi synapse power bi these combinations also you can try at the end of our course today i will tell you what is the best combination in case you are looking for combination also but wait till end of the course so today end of the class i will tell you the best combination in case you want to try with experience and more experience and your total it more than 5 years and you want to keep in power bi 5 years 5 plus then modular role designer role architect role specialist roles available but by my course is not suitable for this below 5 years okay but if you want to try this at least one or two projects end to end knowledge is required and one or two projects end to end working experience is required then only you can apply for these opportunities not by learning if you have experience on some other tool yeah some other tool is okay but you are trying as yeah, a power bi other... mode some other reporting tool that is can you try with for the designer or for i will tell you sir I, i need to discuss with you little more then only i can give you uh, sir may i ask one question yes, sorry please. to interrupt actually i just needed to know i have 5 years of experience not in power bi 
in totally in content moderation and all but mm -hmm. i want to say i'm changing Ma it madam madam i will give you my contact number kindly call me on this number we will discuss okay. in detail sure, i request sure. everyone regarding your personal okay, personal sure. profile or any kind of career guidance i'm providing my contact number call me in the timings we will have a hassle free discussion sure sure okay thank you and somebody asked ravikant sisla msba tabular cube two hours is enough no not uh, two hours is enough in case you want to get the data you want to perform basic operations along with power bi okay but if you are looking for dedicated opportunity and tabular cube that is not sufficient So I already provided my contact number. Kindly note down. Call me on this for your career guidance or any kind of questions apart from demo. Right. So what we provide, I showed you and what, what you are eligible for opportunities completed. Now we'll move into data to fabric. Very interesting. Listen to it. And every I, uh, Power BI resource and be uh, especially Power BI resource should aware of this hierarchy first. Without knowing this hierarchy, if they start their career, it's a confusing career only. Why you will come to know? First, data. Anything you are able to store is called data in IT. And we have in the current market three types of data. Structured data, semi structured data, unstructured data. Table is a structured data. Excel is a structured data because data looks like this, data appears like this ID, name, age, degree, column by column available, column, 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 column. So, table is a structured object. Excel level also, column by column data available. So it is also a structured object. Semi-structured. A semi-structured, partially structured. See, this is metadata. And this is actual data. Metadata. Actual data. And these kind of files are called semi-structured files. Especially JSON, XML, these all come under semi-structured files. So you may not have in case you are new to IT, but these come under semi-structured. <laughs> and coming to unstructured, social media data, WhatsApp data, Twitter, PDF, Word, email, in these areas, no structure at all. We never follow any structure or process or pattern while typing email, while typing content in the word, while typing message in the WhatsApp or Twitter. So unstructured. So we are having at this market three types of data. And this data stored in two formats. First format file, format one. Second format database. There are no other formats. Any company you go, data may be in the file or database. And storage. So there are two storages. One is on-premises, the files and databases within the company server or within the company devices. And second one, cloud, somebody else storage area. And we guys also, knowingly or unknowingly, working on both. I'm giving a difference between these two. In a layman terminology, kindly focus. It is a mobile. Or your mobile. Smartphone. Your images. Your contacts. <coughs> videos. Etc. Initially in our device only. Mobile device. Our memory. So for safer side, our future uses, what we usually do, We'll take a backup. Where do we take backup? Either Google Cloud or Samsung Cloud or Apple Cloud. Somewhere we take backup. So instead of your storage, you're using somebody else's storage 
or the backup. So that is cloud. So the people who are working with mobiles, they're working with on-premises and cloud. So you don't ask anyone what is cloud. You guys are using it. Sir, uh, is it important for our learning? Yes. Power BI is the only one reporting tool which will provide support to all types of data and all formats of data, all storages of data. And we are going to discuss multiple formats and storages in the regular class. Multiple formats and storages. Next. Any questions here? Online, offline people. Thank you. Next, IT applications. So once again, kindly provide your email ID mobile number to get today's demo video and document. No IT applications. There are many types available. And even you had some of your friends working on mainframes, SCAP, some ERP applications, CRM application, different applications, people working. Many types available, but important are two. One is Important are two for a business. Business running application is the first category. Second category, business analytical application. You started a business, a small coffee bar in your hometown. First, you look forward to have to perform transactions of the coffee shop. Those are business running applications. Once transactions are more, you increase your branches. Definitely, you look forward for analytical application. That is business analytical application. And IRCTC is the best example for transaction processing application. Because at the end of the booking, you will get a message, transaction success or transaction failed. So we call these applications as transaction processing applications. Book my show, a transaction processing application. Cash withdraw from ATM or online transfer. Those are all transaction processing applications because we get a message at the end, transaction successful or transaction fail. And technically we call them as OLTP applications, online transaction processing application. So who will use it? We all the people use it. So general public use their web, desktop, mobile applications, and they fill they fill the forms mostly for the transaction processing. We fill the forms. IRCTC, you will select multiple and click next. You want to do some online transaction and you will fill the multiple details and click next. So we use forms and perform operations in three platforms, three platforms and perform operation. And finally, the data will be in a storage area and the data is called transactional data. What about data? transaction and these applications are called transactional applications technically OLTP everyone understood so all the business running applications are IT level technically OLTP applications and second okay business running okay more and more data available companies want to analyze how do they analyze fine you got some approach but how do you present it so that they will easily analyze? For your easy operations, companies giving forms. Fill the form, get your operations done. But what about analysis? In that situation, reports or dashboards required. Then what exactly they show? A report or dashboard will show information like this. Take IRCTC example. At the time of your booking, this database storage will store PNR number, amount, passengers, starting date, ending date, train number, etc. information. If you book, but management team, they don't bother about your information. 
they always look forward how many trains having full booking today how many trains not having any booking in today's tatkal or which region having highest demand in today's tatkal and especially what are the trains having highest demand so this is decision making data you want to show graphically with stunning visuals then reports or dashboards required and in this area as you are generating reports or dashboards for this kind of decision making data these are called analytical applications and a few people call ba applications business intelligence applications since intelligence information of the business you are providing intelligence information of the business data you are providing and we will call a person as intelligent when his decision making is good his analytical skills are good the same way as you are providing analytical data of the business so these are called business intelligence applications or olap applications or decision making applications but how come you convert this normal transactional data into this we have a process called ba process business intelligence process some people say olap process and now you now you guys decided to convert normal data into olap data or analytical data by using ba process but how how do you implement where do you implement this process legacy legacy process old process is different middle age process is different and modern process is different there are more than 45 ba tools in the market to implement the ba process and power bi is one of them power bi is one of them so with power bi you guys going to sit in this area everyone listen to it what are you going to do you will take transactional data or any data implement business intelligence or analytical process and generate reports or dashboards where management team and other analytical team uses this information via web a desktop or mobile once again what is your responsibility after learning this tool taking transactional or any data implementing ba process generating reports or dashboards with this kind of information where management team will analyze and they can access through web desktop mobile these are platforms and now i'm going to explain this process what is this process this you got clarity this you got clarity only process only you did not get clarity am i right now go to next b applications what is ba ba stands for intelligence to the business decision making or analysis of the business input is any data ba level output is report or dashboard so you deal with reports and dashboards in the company your objective is generating reports and dashboards so what are the differences two differences i will tell you now understand a report always for detail understanding of data and report always for a particular operation an operation and dashboard is always high level understanding of data specific subject area data specific subject area data example savings account report a savings account deposit report deposit operations report savings account withdraw operations report these are individual reports but if you take savings account dashboard 
in the situation you can show withdraw data deposit data loan processing data all withdraw deposit loan processing all you can show in the dashboard level so this is the difference between report and dashboard anybody having any questions so report level detail understanding of data we show like this dashboard level high level understanding of data we show like this if you go to a marketing executive nowadays they will open a dashboard and show you yeah this is the market statistics last four years we have growth like this so and so they will explain you now so what is the input in the ba what is the output in the ba explains which means any ba tool you take you asked me earlier tableau and someone asked me in the online ssrs those all tools will take data generate report and dashboard but where is the difference the capability is a difference the functionality is a difference the operations are different pricing is different around 45 tools available one tool to another tool these are the differences in the market there are many mobiles nokia available htc available one plus available apple available many more okay a few people purchasing apple phone a few people for samsung one plus why based on the features budget many reasons the same way but there is a leader in the mobile industry we have a leader the same way in the ba tools there is a leader and that who is the leader i will tell i'll show you now so don't feel confused if you're new to it i will explain this diagram more than 100 times in your regular classes you feel very bored after two or three times first time it looks panic what is this but later it is very simple i'm talking about b applications focus general customers these application these platforms they use and whatever the data they keep that is called transactional data it's fine management team require this data in this area or in these platforms and generate reports or dashboards sorry not dash not generate they will view the reports and dashboards in this area how come your transactional data convert to reports and dashboards data as i told you we have a process called ba process very very important it is a fixed process wherever you go whatever it may be the company the process remains same you want to construct a house what is first required foundation second slab later our foundation pillar slab side walls one by one we construct the same way if you want to generate a report or dashboard we have a process that is a fixed process tool may be changed process never changes so assume your day-to-day -day data available in the files and databases now you want to convert a report or dashboard with formatted data how account to scientists in 90s first implement etl process extract transform load process informatica data stage or data storage data stage ebinitio these kind of tools available in the market which will perform the etl process what is etl process taking the data performing required operations and loading where do we load in an area called data warehouse so scientists suggested implement extraction transformation load process and move to huge storage area because regularly you are moving and year, years years and years you are moving so data volume is more and those are called warehouses yes so customers not customers scientists suggested if you want a proper analytical system regularly gather the data and keep in a storage area if you take regular data and keep in a particular storage area it looks huge volume so those are called warehouses so this is data gathering area and this is data storage area 
but complete data storage will be having terabytes to petabytes more volumes daily business data you are keeping one year data two years data three years data how much volume it is more but complete volume and all data we don't use for analysis whatever we require we will take it and use it so the specific data storage and applying aggregate analytical operations like sum average rank top bottom that area is called cubes area or semantic area specific data storage an aggregate analytical area is called cubes or semantic area once it is ready happily we can go for data presentation reports and dashboards are used to present the data so these are the four layers and the process we follow in the real time as part of ba first one data gathering second one huge data storage third one required data storage and creating aggregate analytical operations fourth one presentation any company if they want to have a ba process ba project the steps are same tools may be changed tools may be changed okay fine multiple tools available then where is the issue the issue is this if any company wants to use uh, wants to have the ba process they need to purchase multiple tools this is the issue multiple setups required software setups multiple resources also required multiple people etl team warehousing team analytical team reporting team multiple teams also required very costly guys try to understand i am going to explain the history very important part which you will not get in online and all so very costly approach having multiple tools multiple setups people so one company decided they want to reduce this complexity that is microsoft and they released a component called msba and in which year 2005 so what is this it is a suit msba is a suit what it has tools tools this is first tool ssis sql server integration services second one ssas sql server analysis services third one ssrs sql server reporting services and the it tools this is the first tool tool one for this purpose second tool analysis services tool for this purpose third tool reporting services for this purpose so microsoft first time given in the market level a beautiful suit where multiple tools available to perform end to end process but you can ask me a question sir power bi also from microsoft right why separate tool in case a company wants to give new features for the existing they will give new version apple wants to give new features then they will give a new version but not a new phone type a new product but microsoft given a separate product called power bi why that you need to know today because many interviews are asking when msbi available from microsoft which is very strong and good in the market why power bi and someone uh, uh, someone recalculated in the first 15 minutes sir ssrs extension is power bi ssrs is a on premises and power bi is a cloud one am i right wrong it is completely new brand new product there is a reason why microsoft released a brand new product for ba so have patience and listen to it so i am going to explain this so legacy old projects if they want to have ba process multiple tool setups resources compulsory very complex and costly yes all top companies used it bank of america american express everyone having this process because they don't compromise about price they have good technical teams but small medium people scared to use so microsoft ba is a god driven solution for them because one suit all tools one team sufficient msb resources team no need of multiple teams so first version 2005 
and they took gap of three years and eight. They took gap of two years and this 2010, 12, like this. These are MSBA versions. Remember everyone, MSBA versions are this. Every two to three years, there is a new version. Every two to three years. Sir, what is the greatness? So Microsoft is a leader in the market since 2008. That is an important point. In the analytics and BA level, Microsoft ruling the rest for the last 15 years. So in case you want to, you're expecting a very good career in the warehousing and BA, and you want to survey for a couple of years, yes, Microsoft can provide it. So how can I believe that it is a leader? If MSB is a leader, what about Power BA? MSB a leader, till 2016, but 17 onwards, Power BI continued it. That's the reason no competitor to Microsoft in the B analytics and BI. I'll show you the statistics focus. Genuine statistics. See guys, a link available here. This link I will provide you in the documents, demo documents, kindly look into. Microsoft named a leader in the 2022 Gartner Magic Quadrant for analytics and BA platforms. It's a leader. Now down. Today we are announcing that 15th consecutive year, Microsoft has been a leader in the market. That is 2022. Uh, now it is 16th year. How come, sir, Microsoft having wonderful market for the last 15, 16 years? Because of its features. And if you see this picture down, leader, who is the leader? Salesforce, Tableau, ClickView, these are also leaders, but Microsoft is on top of it. And these are all some other components, and these are all challenges. But still, you can ask me a question. If we got leadership with the MSBA, then why Power BI? I'll answer it. Next, geometrics. See this market growth of Microsoft. Power BI jobs demand grows as it dominates market share. This 2021, I will show you with a 36% market share in 21. 22, it is 42%. What is 42%? Sir, this is 22, 42%. That means 100 BA projects available in the market assume. 42 BA projects in Power BA. Now, genuine statistics. This is not my company website or any website. The remaining Tableau click with is all very less. And if you want to know why Power BI having market than Tableau and all, yes. Tableau having a couple of bottlenecks where Power BI gained over it. Clearly mentioned, I'm sharing this link. Kindly open the link and see all, see all statistics. If you question yourself, if I go with Power BI, what will happen to my career? Yes, you will be leader in the market in the BI. Along with Power BI, you will be the leader. Right. Now, so Microsoft BI released in 2005 and leadership from 2008. Then why Power BI? This question answer I'm giving focus. <laughs> IT industry before 2005, one way available. After 2004, another way available. There are drastic changes. MSBA released in 2005. So by that time, what are the tools, technologies, process available? Microsoft added all to the engine, MSB engine, released it. But in 2004, Facebook announced and released. And 2005 onwards, Google, many features are popular, five onwards only. And 2006 onwards, cloud is popular. Very popular clouds. 
and 2010 onwards apps very popular 9 and 10 mobile apps tab apps but msb engine does not have capability for the latest technologies latest process because the architecture the engine before 2004 suitable market this is a problem so only on premises possible cloud operations not possible in msb first point and we need three tools to perform complete operation small medium companies also need to use three tools to get a report if you pass a data if you pass data and ask to generate a report three tools compulsory otherwise not possible one tool will do only one operation and no mobile and tab friendly not available limited data it will connect not all data unstructured semi structured by that time not available only structured available structured data it was able to connect so these are all unstructured semi structured cloud applications no support you generate a msb report because ba is new to the market by that time and if you want to show your msb report in in your company le website level your company blog level your twitter application level your facebook level not possible and the average coding also we need to write average coding is compulsory and the visuals also not great visuals and updates also very rare every 2 to 3 years there is an update so microsoft decided microsoft decided because many companies asked you are the leader but current market your component is not suitable why don't you focus on that they decided and they want to add more power to the existing bi that is power bi so power bi is adding more power to the existing bi for the existing bi more power added that is power bi what do you mean by power cloud supported on premises supported so here only on premises but here both supported here three tools required to do the operation here only one application sufficient if you pass data you will get report that's why this is called self service b application msb level mobile and tab friendly not possible but power bi level mobile and tab friendly operations possible and msb level only limited sources it will support power bi level many inputs it will support structured unstructured and all and you can place your power bi report in website level blog level many areas and msb level average coding is required power bi level low code is sufficient less code and power bi level we have stunning visuals and power bi level we have features and the features update every month available monthly the updates so microsoft they want to continue their position so they given monthly updates very tough to maintain every month we have an update in case you started a new company new application release immediately microsoft will contact you for the integration with power bi in the next month update you will see this we joined with so and so organization we partnership with so and so organization like this so these are the boosting features or power features to the existing bi that's why this is called power bi everyone got clarity so announced in 2013 and we have monthly update from 13 to current month a very basic and compare to the cloud and other excel cloud and other etl operation say galama analytical say galama mira basically on the very basic the nokia normal phone mama tradu apple 15 pro look at matter that's different same as a difference in got clarity right now coming to this picture working professionals focus on this msba level tool one tool two tool three we use in these areas and power bi level concepts available concept one concept two concept three all in single tool some people say single application see the beauty single application 
So this application will, this application concepts will do this operation. Power query will sit here. Power pivot will sit here. And power view and power map will sit here. And it is single application. That's why people call this as suit and this as application. This is so one more beauty. Power, you, whatever you ask, power... X, one second, sir. Excel level, not possible. SSRS level, this is not possible. Excel level, not possible. Basic level possible, not in detail. RS level, not possible. Even Tableau level also, these are not possible. Excel, RS, Tableau, they will do up to some level this. Or equivalent to this. But these are not possible. Yes, ask your question now. In the Power Query, do detail, basic detail operations also? Power Query? Yeah, Power like Query SSR will do. SSR. Power Query will do wonderful ET operation, extract transform operation. Wonderful ET operation. So, in that case, no need to use SSIS and SSIS. No, I, I did not. I... Power BI. Right, perfect. That's why we call like this Power BI. Power BI. If anyone asks about Power BI definition, crazy definition is this, adding power to existing BI. But normally you want to explain, tell them it's a low code application. Not much code is required. Low code, self-service BI application, cloud and on-premises supportive application, and generate reports and dashboards from any data. So answer this definition. They will see you high. Don't say simply it's a reporting tool. Power BI is a low code, cloud and on-premises supportive, self-service BI application, generate reports and dashboards from the data. Announced in 2013 July, and every month we have an update. Got clarity? Microsoft, with the given spirit of Power BI, they thought of giving some more low code components in the market to have better business. Yes, they did it. That is Power Platform. The next one you need to know. Hardly three minutes, I will close it. So it's a low code, super hit in the market. So with that spirit, Microsoft given some more low code components. So this low code for reports and dashboards. 2013 to 2019, Power BI standalone. It's an individual. In 19, it joined with Power Platform. So Microsoft decided we'll give some more low code components and give a uh, combo packet in the market. Combo package in the market. And one is second one is power apps. Low code to generate mobile and tab friendly apps. The mobile level, tab level, many apps we are using. Those apps you want to generate easily you can do without writing much code. This is available. You want to do automate process, RPA process, robotic automate processing a robotic process automation with low code you want to do power automation and you want to create websites or web pages earlier it is very tough job creating website and all right now it is very easy power pages in microsoft level having many templates just choose the template type your details your website is ready so low code no need to write code earlier we need to write huge code Java code or .NET code or PHP codes, HTML code, we need to write, right? Don't know. And a virtual agent, when you open a website or website or an app in the bottom corner or a top corner, you will find it. How may I assist you? Those are called chatbots. You want to create for your organization without much code, you can create it. So these are the five low code components with five different purposes. Microsoft thought and assumed that people go along with Power BI, these components, and it will have very great booming. Not happen. Power apps and Power Automate combination people are using. This having market, separate market, even a couple of people heard about it. Virtual agent having separate market, but combination not having market. So they noticed all the organizations, how they are using. And finally, they given a component. Microsoft Fabric. So this is 2013. 
and this is 2019 and this is 23 june ending so the next market next future this only microsoft going to rule the rest what is fabric it is an ai based solution with cloud data integration reporting so data storage data analysis data science ai reporting operations and power bi used in this area for reporting data factory used in this area data integration data act sorry synapse is used for storage analytics science etc operations and data activator is just data monitoring governance component so these four components combination is microsoft fabric and from tomorrow when we are working on we'll work on fabric only so for b is fabric power bi in artificial intelligence solution based power bi understood the history and in case you want to have good career because your it experience is more than 10 years 15 years and you want to go in a good combination expecting great career then learn power bi and data factory or power bi or synapse because ka combo combo only available market so this is called hierarchy we have three types of data give me 2 minutes i will close and address all your questions we have three types of data two types of formats <laughs> two types of storage it applications majorly two types transactional analytical oltp olap and you people belong to olap applications b applications they generate reports and dashboards from the data power bi is a modern bi application self service bi application which will take data and generate reports and dashboards and announced in 2013 power platform it is a low code platform with set of low code applications and power bi a part of it but now power bi a part of fabric so this is the hierarchy you are supposed to have good knowledge i will share the screenshots and material kindly walk through it without fail multiple interview questions also i covered and knowledge wise whatever is important i covered with without fail go through it and coming to tomorrow i will explain about practical part how easily we do the operations in power bi first 5 to 10 minutes recap of today and next 50 60 minutes we'll discuss about practical part so you'll understand okay power bi is very easy to practice and hands on also we can make it happily everything you'll come to know from tomorrow even tomorrow example you need to practice before starting your regular class before starting your regular class so concluding so we have two demos first demo 20 minutes i explained about institute what we provide and next 40 minutes i explained about data to fabric understanding and tomorrow recap for 10 minutes and then we'll continue for practical demo 50 to 60 minutes and who all join and not provided email id mobile number kindly provide so that this video as well as all the documents which i showed you i will provide you in case you want to talk to me i'm providing my contact number and call me after part, uh, half an hour i will address your questions otherwise these are the timings you can call me so personal details professional details call me over phone non it people don't feel with the technical words you are joining into it so you must learn IT people definitely will enjoy with my classes because more and more case studies, more and more projects. And my intention is 
you should be suitable for any kind of project and entry warranted training and sub, sub, uh, certification clearance training this is what ms microsoft power bi certification the exam code is pl300 and thank you so much guys no 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 sir uh, thank you so much for joining today and listen to the demo kindly walk through the video and documents and i'm yes, stopping now and i will address your queries please take your mic and ask your questions Oh, sir, morning any batches, morning available, sir.